Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is John and uh, welcome to my new uh, video uh, tutorial. It's all about Visual Basic application here in Excel. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, how to get the name of the active uh, user form and the next thing is uh, we're going to to uh, to get the control or the elements of the user form like a combo box and text box all right so let's get started so here let's try out alt, alt f11 all right so and then what we're gonna do here we're going to insert user form so now we have a user form here as you can see now here in user form we're going to add a text box simple as that and then in a combo box and then the bottom here all right then the next thing here we're going to insert a module all right so let's go back we have a module and we use user form let's go back to a user form here in user form let's go here just for the sake of the demonstration so uh, initialize uh, me that uh, text box that value that value equals to genealogy next is me that combo box that value equals to one oh not value at add item uh, one me that combo box uh, that add item two me that combo box that add item three all right that's it so let's run the user form so now we have a genealogy and a value here we can select so now the next thing here is we're going to go to module let's go into create a sub sub uh, control reset we're going to reset the, the controls inside the active form uh, we're going to create the name variable here as a user form this is the this is the one will get the name of the current active user form so now next is deem frm current form as user form all right user form all right next is uh, we're going to create another variable control ctr only as control so we can loop and check the combo box and text box all right the next thing here is uh, we're going to set the frm uh, current form equals to uh, form name all right form name as you can see here form name is from there all right so i think we need to zoom in i don't know how to zoom in this audit i think here zoom how to zoom in I don't know okay I think you can see here in the B2 yeah hopefully it will be and the next one is uh, the next thing is we're going to loop in the in the current user form all right for each CTR CTR controls C O N T R in where FRM current form that controls then let's uh next this one then the next thing is we're going to uh, create a uh, if uh, condition here then we're going to uh, check if there's a, a combo box combo box then what we're gonna do is we're going to ctr that value equals to we're going to clear else if type name 
in dr equals to if there's a text box then if there is a text box value equals to nothing then and if all right simple as that all right so now here we go so one by one so form name as a user form as simple as that right and then let's go back to user form let's run this one now here we go when we run this one so okay let's for the sick clear me clear or reset a clear all right i think clear is good all right then run again so now in text box we have a genealogy and in the combo box we have two when we click this one possibly it will clear it didn't clear right <laughs> oh why why it didn't clear because we didn't call it okay we need to call it call reset um, control reset then here we go we're going to what uh, we need to put a value here because our um, video is all about how to get the current username so what we're gonna do we're going to type me only all right that's me all right then let's see it's work now we have genealogy when we click this one we're expecting to clear the the value here in a text box and the value in a uh, combo box here we go it's gone all right as simple as that hopefully uh yeah it will help believe me eh. all right so clear like that one simple as that what if we have uh, another text box here okay text box two yeah that's okay two we need to uh, uh youtube something like that and let's clear it clears right now it's dynamic right simple as that all right so hopefully uh you're gonna like my uh my tutorial here in visual basic application here in excel all right so once again this is joan and thank you for watching and bye for now